Hello, hello and good day to another episode of the e-commerce coffee break podcast. Let me start today with a question. Did you know that 35% of Amazon orders coming from one-to-one -one personalized recommendations? So there's proof that you can improve your conversion rates by serving hyper-personalized recommendations. But how can you achieve that for your store, for your Shopify store? To discuss this topic today, I have Gokul Morihiraharan with me. He's the CEO of Argoid RE, that's argoid.ie. And Gokul combines business savvy and strong engineering skills as the CEO and co-founder of Argoid. They are the leading AI-driven recommendation engine for e-commerce like Shopify. And the product recommendations there boost average order value and conversations, improve retention for Shopify companies. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Before turning entrepreneur with Argoid, he worked at Flipkart, Goldman Sachs, Huawei, Honeywell, and has made a fun fundamental contributions to Hadop and Kafka. His favorite quote is, I always loved working with hypergrowth online businesses, and currently at Argoid, I help global businesses achieve their growth goals faster than they imagined. So let's say hello to Gokul and get started. Hi, Gokul. How are you today? Hey, Klaus. I'm doing great. Thank you. And uh, very excited to be here. Let's talk about product recommendations. Um, Amazon is very successful with that, and there's reasons for that. So give me a bit of a background why that is so. Totally. So if you look at uh, Amazon's annual reports, which Bezos has returned to shareholders, you know, from the initial days, they have started their personalization journey early on in the, as a company. And Amazon has, has set a high standards in terms of personalization and using data, which is user behavior data, a shopper comes online. If you look at a typical journey, they come on the landing page, landing to product view, add to cart, purchase, there is a whole conversion funnel out there. And every e-commerce company today, most of the companies have more than one product or even more than 10 products or 50 products. And they have a bunch of users, online shoppers come online and they go through the same journey as any Amazon user will go through. The challenge is the choice in present in front of them. Every user is unique and they have different tastes, different intent. So the question is, how Amazon has built their AI-driven personalization engine, they have invested multi-man year effort and millions of dollars in this technology. And that's why it's powerful. Even today, I can probably say like, I can go to my homepage of Amazon, you know, I will see different products versus class versus any other person because they use data to personalize. And behind this very complex technology, as I said, time and effort. But the other companies, let's talk about Shopify merchants. Already they have a lot of you know, KPIs to measure and meet to grow the company, to focus on products, the customer experience, satisfaction, conversions. Thing is, for them to build something like this on their own, it's a mammoth task. It is not impossible, but it is a complete deviation from what they do. And other tools in the market, I would say they may not be as powerful as Amazon. So that is what the market needs, you know, a recommendation engine, which is as powerful as Amazon's AI-driven recommendation, where it can power re recommendations at any touch point for a user. Home page, you may also like recommendations. Product detail page, you know, similar products, customers who bought this, bought this, viewed this, viewed this. In cart, recommendations like, hey, these are the five products you can add, which will eliminate your discount, you know, uh, sorry, eliminate your shipping fee, and it provides some discount for you, which can improve, you know, the non-abandoned carts. So there are a lot of advancements that can be done to improve conversions, improve average order value, and AI-driven personalization can be a growth accelerator for any e-commerce company. Okay. I see quite a lot of merchants that have some apps, sometimes it's manually done, where they show recommended products or similar products on the product detail page. And often it happens that these products are not even similar. They're not in the same category. They don't have any kind of relation to the main product on the meta product page. And obviously that doesn't help with conversions. Amazon obviously has a lot of data because people need, usually, if they're locked in, have an Amazon account. Amazon has collected all the previous shopping experience and so on and so forth. So it makes it easier. How does that work on Shopify? How do you collect the data to show the right product in the right moment? Yeah, that's a great question. So there are uh, two ways in which we at Argoid.ai solve this problem for Shopify merchants. 
first of all, Shopify provides an order API from which we understand last two months of order history for each individual. Every user for e-commerce merchant, this is what the particular product or set of products they ordered. Based on that day one, we can make relevant predictions for each, each individuals. And even somebody has not logged in before with their other metadata, the, we call it user metadata, something like based on, is it iOS or Android device? Or are they logging in from USA or India? So based on that, we know historical order purchase. This is what the users from India on an Android phone have bought products. So with that, the AI engine start making ultimate guess. The beauty is real-time personalization, as I, can, I may call. When I say real-time personalization, the AI engine is constantly making guesses, predictions for the end user. Thing is, shopper subconsciously is interacting with the AI through clicking, either, either like you know abandoning the page, bouncing off from the particular site, or adding the product to cart, or clicking a product, or reading the description, reading reviews. Every such event comes to our system. So in real time, within few seconds, we can move the accuracy needle from, let's say, 50% to 85%. And that's what we did with a, a, a case study from one of our premier fashion customers. When we did that with real-time personalization, we are able to improve add-to-cart conversions by 130%. So proof is in the pudding. So it is not just a technology which enables shopper to find what they want. It also boosts the revenue for the you know, company significantly. Okay. Obviously, a merchant is always interested in showing as many products as possible to a potential customer. And if you have a huge catalog with, I don't know, some merchants have thousands of products there, then obviously it should help to bring a lot of products up there. One feature that I saw that you're offering in your app is trending now. Now, I think that's that's very something very appealing to a lot of customers that are specifically only browsing. So they're not looking for a specific product, but they're just browsing. How does that work with the trending now feature? Yeah, totally. So there are different types of recommendations. So far, we have doc talked about user to product personalization. I can say one-to-one -one hyper personalization. So there are also other recommendations like trending recommendations, which are popularly driven recommendations. So usually we have seen the recommendation ribbons like trending now, recently viewed, provide higher conversion than other ribbons. Like you may also like our similar products. The main reason being, as you rightly said, these are really powerful. And what differentiated Argoid brings is the trending now, it's also personalized as a segment level, not at a user level. Let's say, you know, I am logging in from, again, from US or I'm logging from California versus I'm logging from New York. I have a different behavior. The people in New York buy certain products, you know, let's say it's a winter clothing. I mean, a, a, a fashion company has winter clothing as well as a California style summer clothing, you know, or a spring kind of a season. So trending automatically will show from California, from the localized trending, you know, on for New York, it will show localized trending. And just give you an example, likewise, there are multiple parameters in which the trending now ribbon works on and it's segment level. This segment could be geography, it could be you know gender or multiple factors. Okay, I think that's a very good point. I see that quite often. I'm in the Southern Hemisphere right now and we have still winter. And then you get all these kinds of um, summer end sale. I was like, yeah, I'm not in the summer, I'm the winter. <laughs> so having a tool that helps with that and automatically in the background offers the right product for the right hemisphere basically for the right season um, is great now obviously there's a lot of um, power used to um, power the AI, 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 AI. does that um, influence the speed of the store or how does that work in the background yeah this is a common question merchants ask me hey you know will your system slow my site down and the immediate answer is no it will not slow the site down because of coming from the Flipkart background, you know, you mentioned about Flipkart. Flipkart is one of the largest e-commerce companies in the world by volume. You know, they have 350 million monthly active users. And from coming from that kind of experience working at scale, you know, we have built a system that scales without compromising on speed. So our latencies, you know, the way, the speed in which the recommendation engine responds to the end user is in the order of few milliseconds. So one millisecond is 1,000th of a second. So it's very high speed. Even our customers have done benchmark reports like Lighthouse reports and different tools in which they measure the site speed and our engine did not even come in a warning kind of a scenario. It, it, will, it, it will not appear there. So that report usually shows 
which are the apps or JavaScript code that slows the site down. So, you know, short answer, yeah, it doesn't affect the site speed, what we provide. And because of this nature, we can provide a number of ribbons without affecting the latency or the speed. For example, for product detail page, we can provide five ribbons. So whether it is 100 concurrent users or 1,000 users or million current current users, the engine responds at same high speed. Okay, that absolutely brilliant. That is not slowing it down at any. How can you implement that? Or with the implementation, obviously Shopify has the OS 2.0, the online shopping 2.0 version. How difficult is it to implement into your store, into your existing theme? So we do have uh, different tiers of offerings, like basic package, starter, growth. So it is easy to implement. Any merchant can go to our Shopify app, which is, of course, they can search for Argoid, Argoid upsell, cross-sell recommendations. So in the Shopify app store, we can just say Argoid, A-R-G-O-I-D. They will find our app. And they can install and it is a simple onboarding process few clicks so a lot of apps i have seen they require users merchants or the merchandisers in the team to manually configure a lot of you know configurations and they get lost hey i don't know what i'm into so we ensure we provide default configurations you know we know we assume for this category what is the best suited recommendation fine tuning required so all they need to do is just click click provide access and go through the user journey themselves. And within one hour, you know, they get approval that yes, your app, uh, you know, or your website is live with, let's say, you may also like recommendation on homepage. They can also configure, we have a few ribbons enabled there. So this is for the basic and standard package. It's self-serve completely. For advanced package, of course, you know, we have mechanisms in which they can reach out to us and we provide them much more sophisticated and customized use cases like smart search, which I have not talked about, you know, so far. So smart search and product listing page recommendations, that's another common pain point for the customers. Like a lot of companies, the product catalog, whatever is available when a shopper comes and searches, thing is every shopper is using Google, right? And they type anything in Google, Google provides them somewhat relevant results or accurate results. They're really powerful. But same intent, they come to an e-commerce site and type, I am looking for a shirt for a wedding. And any other search engine within the e-commerce site, let's say Shopify store, it goes and looks for, you know, the sh shirts which are title wedding, but that's not intention, it's occasion wedding. So that's how rudimentary the systems are. So we provide a smart search, which understands the people's context and personalizes the results and provide them best results. So these are advanced package in which, you know, there's a little bit fine tuning required. So we will enable it for them, you know, within a week or so for these advanced use cases. Mm -hmm. I think quite important you said there is different touch points not only on the store so it can be on the home page on a collection page on the product detail page but also it goes further than that so what happens if somebody um has either sub subscribed to an e email newsletter or something like that so can you just get through all the way to to email marketing with your tool as well totally that's a great question as well so i'm going to provide ai driven hyper personalization at any touch point on a website as well as omni channel so we have an API driven architecture. So thing is the AI engine understands every user at a personal level. It understands what fraud products Google would like at this point in time, you know, let's say Thursday is 8th September, 1 PM. It knows that. So using that knowledge, we can make the current email campaign engines really hyper-personalized, really smart. So that's what we did with a couple of our partners to give you a, a bit more detail here. Then we hyper-personalize the email recommendations. You know, so we can talk to any email recommendation engine and make, we can populate content automatically for each user. For example, if a marketer runs campaign, every user will receive different products, you know, and different prices, you know, based on the hyper-personalized recommendations. When we did that, the results were powerful. There were 484 percentage improvement in email conversions. So that's a, another great feature we have, and we can enable for push notifications. We can work with clay views of the world you know, or any other push owl kind of systems, make them, you know, really hyper-personalize the offerings and provide the best results to the end users and the company. Okay. Now, uh, everyone basically gets their own version of your store, of your marketing omni-channel. Now, I might have some people saying is, yeah, but what ha um, happens if people find out that it's hyper-personalized 
looking into compliance, GDPR, any kind of legal guidelines in specific countries in Europe, in, in California, and so on. How do you deal with that? Yeah, so, you know, the good part about our product is we do not use any PII data, which is personally identifiable information, like phone number and email ID or name and address. So we only work on anonymous user ID, which is like a typically like a Google session ID, which Google also uses to track and provide Google analytics, right? So like user ID one, two, three, you know, came to the site, did these operations, bought these products, so that level of information. So that way we are compliant, you know, we have published our privacy policy in terms of use also on our website about uh, these GDPR CCPA compliances. So I think that way, you know, it's pretty much uh, covered. And also we are following the standard practices, best practices, even to even with anonymous user data, how to store, you know, what are those different security measures we need to have in our cloud environment. We don't take care of that. Okay. If somebody is interested in using Argoid.ai, um, how long does it take to implement? What's what's the learning curve? How long or how much time need people to include to get started? Um, so if a store wants to try out like basic recommendations, like the basic and powerful recommendations, like let's say trending now, trending for a category, it is self-serve. Within a few minutes, they can get onboarded. There is a maximum SLA of like one to two hours that is required. You know, if basically there is a validation that goes off, you know, in the background, because since the store would be consuming our AI engine and you no know, resources for a period of time, so there is an approval process we have put in place. So the, as soon as the team approves, the it gets deployed within an hour. So it's very fast. There is no learning curve required because our engine talks to the Shopify API and it automatically gets the historical order data and starts populating the right results to the end user. And we do offer a 21 day free trial as well right now for all packages. So this is for the basic package. If somebody wants to try advanced package, let's say one-to-one -one hyper personalization, I would say the onboarding process is typically one or two days because there is a dependency involved. We do not only require to collect order data, we want click data. So to collect click data, we need to integrate with Google Tag Manager. Now that's something like that. So that's an additional step, but this one or two days. And for very advanced use cases, you know, as I said, like product listing page, we want to show for every user personalized collection page. And there are number of collections page for the user. Combination goes crazy. So to enable that or to enable smart search, we need further fine tuning. So for that very advanced use case, it takes one or two weeks. So this is a different use cases, different tiers, but for everything, you know, cross uh, tiers, we provide, the free trial, 21 day. Okay. One question comes to mind is if you have sellers who are selling internationally, so we're talking about multi-language, multi-currency, is your app supporting this as well? Yeah. So currently the default, uh, you know, behavior from the app is of course English. However, that said, we have a natural language processing engine, which understands other languages too. So if let's say a website, is in Germany and uh, they want us to go ahead with Argoid, we can enable it. There is a touch involved, like, you know, I would say it's not self-serve. It's uh, our engineers have the back and have to enable it for them. But I would say in a summary, we can support it. We can take case by case basis, but we have a default, uh, I would say inbuilt functionality in the product to support multiple languages. Okay. Well, give me a, a golden nugget on what you would recommend somebody looking into it and what they can expect. So what would be a, a best use scenario or some idea there. Yeah, totally. So, so far we have implemented our AI driven product recommendation and search for multiple sites of different category, fashion, apparel, beauty, cosmetics, food, groceries, you know, home furnishing. Everybody see an improvement of 20% to 144% improvement in conversion rates and a 12 times return on investment using this engine. And thing is, when I said customers can try us with a 21 day free trial, what we do is we show them tra you know, transparent analytics dashboards end of the trial period. Hey, with Argoid, we are able to attribute the revenue of an e-commerce company, whatever revenue it is making, this much percentage is powered by our ribbons alone. And uh, typically with our customers, we have seen 10 to 12% of their revenue is generated by our product recommendations. That's the average case. In the worst case scenario is 5% with 
depends on how many ribbons also we have and how many pages, right? Typically with two ribbons on home page, two ribbons on product detail page, we see 10 to 12 percentage revenue attribution. So this is huge for the company. Like, you know, we're able to predict what would the end users would want and show them the right products and move them up in the you know needle. And this is the starting point. Every customer who implements us for one or two pages, they say, hey, I want this engine all over. Can you do search? Can you do PLP? Can you do email? Can you talk to, they start introducing us to their email vendors and you know, like implementation partners. That's how, you know, automatically it becomes word of mouth and expands from there. Okay. No, I totally can understand that. Obviously, in real life, brick and mortar, if somebody comes to you and even in a restaurant and recommends something special for you, it makes you feel special. And if you find a product that you didn't know before and your likelihood that you will buy it is even higher, then, um, then it helps both sides. The customer will be happy to have something new, something recommended, and then obviously the merchants make makes more money there. So I understand you have a 21-day free trial on the app. Where can people find more about it? So people can come to our website, argoi.ai slash Shopify, or they can go to the app store and find Argoid, just typing A-R-G-O-I-D, Argoid in the search bar. Our app pops on the top and they can click our app. It is Argoid upsell, cross-sell recommendations. So that's our listing on Shopify. So website and you know Shopify app, they can find about us. And we also wrote a lot of blogs for merchants to understand what are the different ways they can improve their conversions, reduce their abandonment rates, reduce the bounce rates? What are the best apps out there? So we are always in the thought process of let's educate the community. Let's help them, not just through this, through the insights in which they can take and, you know, they can really make a big impact. For example, recently we discovered, recently viewed recommendation is one of the key recommendation ribbons that can improve conversion rates than other ribbons. So we just give this insight without any cost to our customers and they are really happy with it. So they can find a lot about, you know, those insights in our blogs also. And that is also there in our website, argoi.ai forward slash blog. Excellent. I will put the links in the show notes so that you're only one click away. And specifically with the blog, I think it's good for people to find out more and get more details, get some tips on how to optimize their business. Google, thanks so much. Very insightful. I think everyone should really try it out and see if it makes a difference. I think it will. And again, thanks for your time and talk soon. Yeah, thank you, Klaus. And really enjoy the conversation. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah. Hey, Klaus here, before you go, I would like to invite you to become part of the e-commerce merchant pro community to get actionable advice from other Shopify merchants who already have achieved what you are aiming for. Our community is a safe place to actively grow your online retail business with the support of the most amazing and helpful group of e-commerce entrepreneurs behind you. Running a Shopify business is tough. Don't do it alone. Join us now. It's free. You will find the link in the show notes. Also, if you think your online store has conversion or marketing issues and you would like to have a fresh set of eyes on your business, then drop me an email at klaus at klauslauter.com and let me know a little bit about your business. It might be beneficial for you to have me look over your store, offers, emails, and ads, and get an unbiased outside perspective and guidance to help you make most of your online business. And finally, if you enjoy the show, please rate and review in the app that you're listening so that I can get bigger and more impactful guests on the podcast. Thank you as always for tuning in today. I appreciate you. Until next time, and I talk to you soon.